8th grade, Chapter 10, Lesson 5, Metric Measures, Unlock the Problem. Using a map, Alex estimates the distance between his house and his grandparents' house to be about 15,000 meters. About how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house does Alex live? Underline the sentence that tells you what you are trying to find. So what are we trying to find? Okay. So about how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house is Alex live? Circle the measurement you need to convert. So what do we need to convert? Fifteen thousand meters. The metric system is based on place value. Each unit is related to the next largest or next smallest unit by a power of ten. So, like I said, this is on your study guide, and this is what you guys have been studying is the different types of metric units and then how they are um, related to each other or can be converted. So, they want us to convert 15,000 meters to kilometers. So, they have 15,000 right here. And they want us to come over here to kilometers. So, how many loops to the left did they go, guys? Three, right? So basically you guys have learned that when you divide by powers of 10 or you multiply by powers of 10, you either move the decimal to the left so many places or you move the decimal to the right so many places, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, how many places are we going to move the decimal to the left? Mm -hmm. Three. So we put our decimal here and we move it one, two, three places to get what? Fifteen. So let's go ahead and do these steps real quick. Find the relationship between the between the units. Meters are how many loops did we say? Three. So three powers of ten smaller than kilometers. Because kilometers are a bigger unit than meters are, right? There are blank meters in one kilometer. Well, it's units of ten, right? So if I took ten times ten times ten, I would get thirty. 1,000. 1,000. I have a one with three zeros, right? So it's 1,000 meters. There are 1,000 meters and one kilometer. Determine the operation to be used. I'm converting from a, so are we going larger to smaller or smaller to larger? A smaller unit to a larger unit. So I will. Multiply or divide? Divide. divide. So convert number of meters. So we said we had 15,000, and we said that we are going to divide. We are going to divide by 1,000, and we said we got what, guys? 15. 15. So Alex's house is 15 kilometers from his grandparents' house. Another way, use the diagram. Jamie made a bracelet one and eight tenths decimeters long. How many millimeters long is Jamie's bracelet? Convert one and eight tenths decimeters to millimeters. So basically, they put the one in the decimeter spot and then the eight in the centimeter spot because it's eight tenths of a centimeter. So, um, since the unit is decimeters, place a decimal point so that the decimeters are the whole number in the unit. So they went ahead and did that. They put the decimal between the decimeter and the centimeter. So then it says step two, convert, cross out the decimal and rewrite it so that millimeters will be the whole number unit. Write zeros to the left of the decimal point as needed and complete the whole to complete the whole number. So we cross this out and then where would it go for the decimeter or for the millimeters to be the whole number? Would it go in between centimeters or millimeters? Would it go in between the centimeters and millimeters, or would it go after millimeters? After millimeters. After millimeters. So it'd go right here. So it says to put a zero there to hold your spot, right? Record the value with the new unit. So one and eight tenths decimeters equals how many millimeters? 
So Jamie's bracelet is 480 millimeters long. Try this. Complete the equation just to show the conversion. Convert 247 milligrams to centigrams, decigrams, and grams. Are the units being converted to a larger unit or a smaller unit? So are they going larger to smaller or smaller to larger? Larger to smaller. smaller. Or I mean, they're going to a larger unit. They're going from smaller to larger, right? So do you multiply or divide by powers of 10 to convert? So we're going to multiply or divide? Divide. Divide. We're going to larger ones. So, 247 milligrams divided by 10 would be what, guys? 24.7. 24.7. Then, 247 milligrams divided by 100 would be? 2.47. And then, 247 milligrams divided by 1,000 would get us? 0.247. So basically, this is going back to what we learned towards the very beginning of the year where you're just moving the decimal places either to the left or to the right, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Convert 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters to deciliters, hectoliters and deciliters. Are the units being converted to a larger unit or to a smaller unit? So you're going from hecto to deca. Yep. Right, smaller, because we have larger ones and we're going to smaller ones. Should you multiply or divide by powers of 10 to convert? I'll multiply. Multiply. So 3 and 9 tenths times, times 10 equals 39. 39. 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters times 100 equals 390 liters and then 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters times 1,000 equals 3,900 deciliters. Share and show complete the equation to show the conversion. So they said think are the units being converted to a larger unit or to a smaller unit? So we're going from liters to uh, centiliter, or centiliters, milliliters. So is it going from larger to smaller or smaller to larger? Smaller to, smaller to larger. Guys, look on your chart right here, okay? Your leader is right here in the center, right? Okay? And then you're going to centiliters and milliliters, which is to the right. So you're going larger to smaller, right? Mm -hmm. So we are going to multiply. So we can go ahead and put a multiplication symbol in each one of those boxes. Okay. And then 8 and 47 hundreds liters times 10 is? 84.7. 84.7. And 47 hundredths times 100 is? 847. 847. And then 8 and 47 hundredths times 1,000, because should we be showing some work here? Yes, because I would loop it once to the right. How many times would I loop it to the, twi or to the right here? Twice. Twice. I'm going to put my arrow. And then here I'd loop it three times. Three times. And I have to add a? Zero. Zero, so my answer is? 8,470 milliliters. Okay? Alright, so basically the difference between DG and DAG is what? One is decigram and the other is a decagram, okay? Deca is DA and DESA is just D. Okay? So I have 9,824 decagrams and I want to convert to grams. So put your finger on decagram on your chart. 
And then we're moving to what? Actually, probably put your finger on decigrams, sorry. Put your finger on decigrams, and then we're moving to grams, which is to the left. So are we going larger to smaller or smaller to larger? Smaller to larger, so we are going to divide. Okay, so 9,824, I'm going to loop it to the left. How many times? One. So my answer is 82.4 grams, right? Okay, and then we said we we're going to divide on each of these, right? So 9,824 divided by 100. How many places am I looping it to? Twice. Twice to the left. And my answer is? 98.44. Okay. Then 9,824 divided by 1,000. I'm looking at to the left. left. How many times? Three. One, two, three. So my answer is? 98,824. Okay. All right. So now they want us to convert. They want us to convert. 4,250 centimeters to meters. So put your finger on centimeters on your chart. Okay, and then you are going to what? Meters. meters. So that is what? Two to the left. Two to the left. So, so I'm going to divide, right? And then you just told me it was two to the left, so I'm going to loop two to the left. So my answer is? Forty-two and fifty. Forty-two or forty-two and five tenths, right? Technically, you don't need the zero on the end. Don't forget, on all of these, you will show work. It's just a little bit of work with a loop, but you're still going to show it. All right, so 6,000 milliliters. Put your finger on milliliters. It's the very last one, right, guys? Okay. And they want you to convert that to liters. So are you going to the left or to the right? Left. You're going to the left and you're going to loop how many times? Three. three times. So one, two, three. And your answer is six because there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Okay? All right. Number five. So you have four decigrams and they want it in centigrams. So where it put your finger on decigrams, okay? And then put your finger on where centigrams would be. So one decigram equals how many centigrams? How many loops did you guys do? One. And we said each loop is ten. So ten centigrams. So am I going to go to the left or to the right? right. To the right, how many times? Once. Once. So I have to add a zero in there, so my answer is 40 centigrams. Okay, so I do want to see this conversion of however many, um, like over here, milliliters was in a liter, and then I also need to see the looping, okay, to show work, so that you know what your conversions are. But your box will help you figure out how many loops you're going to do, and then that will help you figure out how many loops you're going to do here. But remember, each loop is worth how many? Ten. ten. Metric units always go in units of ten. So each loop you do is ten metric units. Okay? All right, so you guys are going to do on your own six through fourteen with your partners. 